So there, I'm looking back. Got a special guest. We yes, got sir. my dog, Young Heen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nailed it? Yes, it. Okay. Normally, I fuck it up. <laughs> How you doing, King? I'm good, bro. Okay, okay. Cool, good. Cool, cool, cool. So you, uh, you're you originally from New York? From New York. Long, Long Island. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So um, how long you been living in Long Island before you made your transition down here? I was in Long Island for probably... I was probably 10, 10 years old. I'm 31 now. Right. So it's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't visit it, but I I haven't been back in probably 10 years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I ain't been back. It's been crazy. Right, right, right. Especially being so far, too. It ain't like it right down the street. Right. So it's a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that drive when I, when I was young. No, yeah, yeah, I hated yeah. it. That's like one thing, it's like, we, you know, when you, when, like, most of my family in Jersey. Right. Camden. Damn, my lady from Jersey. Yeah, Camden, Newark. She from know, Newark. From all up that way, yeah. Trent and all them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but when you tell you, it's ain't like you could just wake up and be like, hey, I'm going to go visit my cousin. And right. You got a plan there, that's a vacation. Yeah, that's a fucking vacation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we used to go from there to this family reunion, that family. Like, yo, fuck this bus. I'm tired of riding the bus, bro. Like, the bus, like, Greyhound was killing me. That's, that's a long drive. So what's like, what's your experience on the ground? I ain't never been on the ground. Yeah, I hate Greyhound, bro. The bridges. Once you get on them bridges and you riding this close to the edge on that joint, you looking down like, oh, <laughs> like that's crazy. It's just, uh, and then the drive, they stop so many times, it makes it make it even longer. Makes bro. it even longer. Makes it even Rest longer, breaks bro. and all Rest that. Rest breaks. You got sometimes you might go through the wrong city. They want to bring the dogs on there, check for drugs, all for that. Real? Yeah, they check for everything. So you was on one of the bus one time and did a, did a dog check. Yeah, I don't had I don't had some crazy shit happen before when my grandmother dropped us off to the Greyhound. This dude he decided to go to my grandmother's car thinking it was his car. It was a white dude. He go to my grandmother's car. My uncle had a hot head. He walked up to him. Dude said one thing, punched him and all this other, and it went on. And man, that was a cr I was little man. <laughs> like I was seeing so much at the Greyhound station and. I, it made me hate the gray house. <laughs> I don't want to ride no bus. So when anything jump off of me, send a jet. Don't send no bus. Right, right. right, 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 right. <laughs> For real. Right. So, like, what's your preferred source of travel? Because, say, like, for instance, you know, you blow up today. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have to be in Cali this time, and you have to be in New York at this certain time at the same day. Mm -hmm. So... But if your source of travel, like if you could choose what type of source of traveling, that'd be your traveling. So what would it be? Would it be a helicopter, private jet, boat, yacht, car, bus, train, bus station, horse or carriage? I have to say... Or Uber. i take an Uber, but I have to say because I rode a train, I'd take a train too. Why you say that? Because it's no stopping, like it's no traffic. <laughs> we're going straight through a tunnel here, a tunnel there, and we're going. It's no traffic. Right, right. So I would do that. I would take the train before okay. anything. I always say God didn't give me wings. I ain't flying, so. Right, right. I ain't, hey, hey. So you don't like planes? I never rode one. Oh, okay. Would you get yeah. on a one? I, I one? try it, but if that spook the shot me, it's over with. I you might make it. it. I might make it there, but I, I don't know about coming back. <laughs> I'm for real, cuz. Nah, my brother went to Mexico last year. Right. Him, my sister, and they all were going, oh, we going to Mexico. I'm like, yeah, you going to Mexico? Because, <laughs> bro, I'm not flying to Mexico, bro. Nah, but they all went, and they all like, man, it's easy. I feel you, but yeah. it happens, man. Yeah. I, I just look, like the boat. Like, me, I'm scared of getting on the ship. Right, it's too it, much water. Too much water. You, 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 I can't it's swim so much forever. that can kill you in it. <laughs> right. Like you don't know what's in there. That's another thing. See, we just when I went to the beach, bro, I would not touch the water no more. I'm like that too, bro. I won't, bro. And we just went two weeks ago, and we went to the beach. We swimming, and then bam, I, we see a fin. So I'm like, oh, they go a shark. Cause it's, it's a fin. I'm like, the fuck. And then bam, everybody running out the um water. We turned back around. My brother-in-law like, damn, I'm going back. He went right back. The bitch jumped out of the water. It was a dolphin, though. Oh. It was right beside her. I said, nah, I ain't fucking around no more, man. It's Hell over. Nah. nah, I ain't doing it. Especially dolphins getting that guy. Yeah, they getting that. That's what I'm saying. Stuff starting to get crazy in the world. We don't know why. Right. But guess what? Like, I believe in certain things. Like, when we be going 
mess around in outer space and all that. We ain't got no business there. Or oh, oh, when we go deep down, try to go down, way down, and we got no business there. Oh, we on our level. Right. So you know what I mean? We need to stay on our level. So that's what I do. I stay in my lane. Yeah. So. But you know, you know, a lot of them, they, you know, they do that. They try to figure out because a lot of people don't know how long this earth been here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and then a lot of the religions and all that comes off base of theory. Right. Because they try to predict a rock and right. be like, well, this rock been here right. over so many billion years. And they don't even know. They don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're just speaking what they read in the book. Uh, uh, something with somebody else, their granddaddy told them. Right. That's why I don't believe nobody. That's why I said everybody is their own man, their right. own woman. So I just go off of, I got belief in something that right. is better than me that put us all here right. and he's great. Right. That's just it. I don't want to take this person's side, that person's right. side, that ain't me. Right. Nah. Okay. I mean, do you feel like in this world that, that some things have to be filtered out through your own sense of thinking? Yeah. Cause I feel like, you know, because some of us we were going to school, they were teaching that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Mm -hmm. then, you we, kinda, then you kind of find when out when figured, you get older. Yeah, that yeah. we discovered America. Yeah, but you kind of find out Christopher Columbus was a rapist. Right. A murderer. Right. Assassinate, you know. Right. He killed a lot of people. Right. But they don't teach you that in school. They don't. They want you to respect <laughs> him and talk about him to your kids. And then, what am I doing that for? <laughs> Why am I doing this? I was totally upset because I felt, uh, uh, I got a, I got on punishment because I, I did a Christopher Columbus project. And I, I failed I because I didn't do it. I honestly, I wasn't interested in mm -hmm. doing it. I mm -hmm. didn't know nothing about it. So, but I got in trouble by my parents and put me on punishment. Really, took my game away. Then I come to find out years later, y'all get mad at me because I write about a fucking murderer. What? What? <laughs> And I don't got my behind. It got my stuff took and all that. Oh no! It sounded like some junk my daddy did, man. I had it rough with my dad too sometimes. Yeah. So you grew up with your dad? Yeah, I grew up with my dad. Actually, okay. my mom and dad had four. We had two. She had two boys, two girls. Me, Kayshawn, Dominique, and Shamino. My mother took the two youngest, the boy and the girl, and my dad kept me and my sister, which was the two oldest out of them. That's so, like the Boys in the Hood movie. Yeah, yeah. she they split us up. Yeah. And we just was talking about this, like how we feel like they ripped us apart. Like we don't blame them, but they still took a part of us. So, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I wanted my brother. I, I ain't had nobody else to buy it with. My, she went on her sister. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or we wanted our mama. We couldn't get to her. She right. in Georgia. Right. Like we said, there ain't no short trip. Dad ain't yeah. even trying to take us, or he, we can't get on the bus. So, you know, we were stuck like that for a couple of years, man. Right. To me, going through it, like getting taken care of the hard way, like getting the, me and my dad used to, I used to smile, used to tell my dad, when I would get older, I'm going to knock you out. Uh -huh. And he used to tell me, boy, when you get ready, I'm going to be waiting on you. So, yeah, man, I just, I done seen a lot, man. Like being in school up there. That what made my dad want me to go down to Georgia with my mom one day because I was in school as a young boy, probably like my son age, like nine years old. And I'm at the school playing football on the field. Got a do-rag on. Right. And I don't gang bang. I ain't gang bang there. So I'm like, what the hell going on? This guy to walk up to the gate. I got a red do-rag. This is blood territory anyway. Where, where I'm at? at? I was in Hempstead. Okay. In Hempstead, Long Island. So I'm in I'm in Hempstead in Nassau County. So um I'm there on the field. He walks to the gate. I'm a look. I'm a little boy. This grown man. Man walked to the gate. He like, hey, come here, little man. I walked to the gate thinking like, oh, he finna give me some money. Now, you feel me? He he I, he done seen me. He probably know my daddy. He finna give me some money. What? I walked to the gate. Holmes. He grabbing the gate, shaking the gate. Take that shit off your head, man. Take that. I'm like, huh? Like, take that off your head. Who told you to wear Who told you you can wear that? I'm like, bro, I'm a child. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? He, he, he was dead serious shaking the gate where the teacher was like, sir, please get away from the gate. Please get away from the gate. I'm like, what the hell? Told my dad about it. Dad was like, nah, you got to go. <laughs> We're going to get you from because he already know it don't matter. If you in a gang or not, you wear the wrong yeah, color. Right, yeah. you, you, that's just you. Yeah, that happened to me. That happened to me before. We were living in Savannah on the east side. Mm -hmm. uh, we were standing over there um, by by Savannah High School, mm -hmm. and we we moved over there. Strathmore Estates, that's what they used to call it. Strathmore, Strathmore Estates. Uh -huh. They'll tore it down now. But we walked. I walked my brother to the convenience store down the street. You know, it's a bad store right. when they got prison bars on the window. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And there's like six guys. That mean, and, and, and they standing in front of the building. And, and, and drunk out inside. Yeah, yeah. 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 
You know what's going on. That's at every store around, everywhere. If you see that, you better not go there. What are some other, what are some other things that, as, as, like, you go to, you pull up a liquor store, right? What are some things, like, that you know, like, okay, this is a bad spot to go shop at? The first thing I see is either an old lady sitting on the block in a wheelchair. She asks for change, or she is a... Baby, do you got uh, this and that? I'm like, what the hell are you even doing out here? I done seen a lady out there with no socks on, and she it's freezing. Everybody buying her coffee, everybody buying her pair of socks, you buy this. I'm like, what the hell? But they got us paying for other stuff out here in the world instead of taking care of right. you know, people like that. So lady, they, be, they be people driving in the middle of the road in a wheelchair. Yeah. That's why I, 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 I just, bro, I'm telling you, I just said that to somebody. I was ride, we were riding in the car. I'm like, yo, look at this old man and old lady. They were a couple. They had on the same shirt, white people. They had on the same shirt, walking across the street with a with a little, little, little thing you holding. They going through traffic because they walking. I said, man, it need to be people out here since we pay taxes and all that. It need, they need to be giving them some type of where they can get around for free. Yeah through their insurance or whatever, you know, things like that. See, if I was, you know what I mean, they let me be male or some shit, yeah. <laughs> this is what I'd be talking about, asking for or something like that, because there's a lot of people out here hurting, man. Yeah. I'm serious. It's, it's, it's a lot of homeless people, and then there's a lot of zombies. I right. Call I call them zombies on right. the strength of. Cause you, have a lot of, you have a lot of black people, not only blacks, white people, too. You have a lot of them out here that just on, strung out on, on drugs. drugs. Badly. And they, you know, when I call them zombie mode, you know, zombies don't have no conscious way they of don't. thinking. So, and they just out here, thir they're on the thirst of blood right. or flesh or something. Right. And in this case, they're in, the, they in the thirst of drugs. Right. Getting high, right. getting that feeling. Right. So, it's a lot of zombies around. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it is. Um, do you feel that, and this, uh, this always goes back to, because even when we growing up, we always right. analyze the dope boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because dope boys, the dope boys are celebrities in the hood. They are. Right. They are. Even, even to this day, do you they feel like celebrities, do you feel like they still are? They still are. Okay. okay. They, and that's a bad thing because they control a lot of power in the hoods that we love, some of them, and then they don't change it. Like, they don't see the problem. They don't. Want to help, basically, you know, and that's not what I used to grow up and think that if I was the man, which I ain't the man because I ain't selling drugs and I ain't, you know what I mean? I, but I'm doing positive things, so why not put the positive man there and you idolize him, even though you're not supposed to idolize nobody, you know what I mean? You, 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 you go follow that trend, don't follow the man trend that's gonna get you watched by the jack boys, the police, and all this crap. Right. put you in the system. That's right. all they want us to do. Right. And then when then it's, it's even it's even higher in smaller town. Right. Smaller country town. It's the worst. And I feel like in the country town, it's like it's bigger hustlers in the country town to me. Right. Because it's like I come from Toons County. Mm -hmm. Everybody, their mother, cousin, all of them was selling dope. Mm -hmm. So it was like you had people selling two dollar bags. Mm -hmm. Three dollar bags. They're cutting off the other man. They were just trying to, cause they, they had so many people yeah. selling. So they're like, we gotta figure this out. We gotta figure something out. Hey, you next round we get to a dollar now, robbing from the start. <laughs> now, see, that's why I say it's a, it's a lot it's of a tricks lot. to this world, it's, man. It's a lot. Yeah. I fail for some of them, but that's why I say, man, when you live it, you can see it. Nobody can play you with it. You can, you can get around it. You, you got, you just gotta grab the steering wheel, like they used to tell me. You can't let the steering wheel. Go off, take you off the side of the road somewhere. You got to hold that firm. You hold it firm, you're going straight. Right. You go straight, you're good. Right, 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 right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so, man, what got you into the artwork, man? Like, you know, because uh, I see that you do some dope work. You show me some of your mm -hmm. work. You got some of your work here, too. You can show I got work. some. I got one thing I started first was my clothing line called Guap Express. Right. I started that because I love clothes. Me coming from New York. Me watching my dad, one thing he did teach us, always keep yourself looking like son. Right. And with that, nobody can never know nothing about you. you they wouldn't know you were hurting. They wouldn't know wh whatever you're going through. Say that one more time. That's real <laughs> shit. Say that one more time. Whatever you're going through, they'll never know it if you keep yourself together. So if, you, if you're not together, they'll know you're not together. Right. So, so if I get in your car and say, damn, your car fucked up, and then I go to your house, I already know. Your house you're going through a hard time. You know what I mean? You're going through a hard time. So so that's why I say you never let the right hand know what the left hand doing. So you, you basically 
giving yourself away. So you don't want to give yourself away. You want to try to better yourself and without them, you know, then you got the bashing coming. Then you got all the negative stuff coming. So you want to just pace yourself, yeah, as I say. On, feeding on that before we get into the artwork. Feeding on that, because we just said some real shit, because that also affect artists heavy. Mm -hmm. the, reason I, the reason I say that, what you say that, because it's like, if you're an artist, and say like you coming in the game, and, and you coming in off top where you you known for wearing flashy jewelry, mm -hmm. high price stuff, mm -hmm. you got to maintain that image through your whole career. Mm -hmm. Whether you got the money or not, you know what I'm saying? So what you said is actually makes it, it's mm -hmm. true even in that factor because it's like soon as an artist comes in the game, makes all these jewels, the next thing you know, it's just gone. It's oh, gone. he broke. Oh, he fell off. He just got smarter. Right. So some of them get smarter. Some of them do be done fell off, but some of them get smarter. That's why I say you got some that let let them know let you know you can't let each other know what they're doing. So you got to. Make sure at all times that is you got a team full of support. Right. See if you got support, especially if you got family support. You got family support, man. Oh man. Right. Especially if you got a mom like the one I got. If you got a mom like Simona Lawson, yes sir, she gonna get to you. Okay. She gonna get to you. All right, so let's see some of his artwork. All right. What we got now is my clothing line that I got now is called Guap Express. This is the men's clothing line. It, it can be for anybody. But uh, we got this now. This is the logo we got made, and we're pushing it right now. Uh, we got shirts going, one for 35, two for 50. We got the jackets going for 35. And then uh, we got the hats going for 10. We got the sun visors going for 10. I got a kid's clothing line called Baby Guap. And uh, we got kids clothes size from all the way to infant to, uh, I think, uh, probably a 6T. And then we got the big kids also. That's smart having a kid. A lot of people be forgetting about the kids. Yeah, man, you can't do that. Because once you leave somebody out, then they gone. Because now I, you, you ain't got what he need. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so I try to keep it on all levels. Like I said, I got seven daughters, man. And I do anything for them. This is for them. Like, when I was young, I didn't have much, but my mom and dad took care of me. Right. And we had stuff. We had everything. But that caused me to go in my closet, go in my brother's closet, to go in my stepdad's closet when I wanted to, or uh, my, my dad's closet, you know what I mean, and go drip myself out if I wanted to. I get my ass whooped now for going in their closet, but I'm going to go to school, I'm going to be dripping. So I, that, th I think every boy grew up. Every boy did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So, Especially if somebody used to dress fresh all the time. Yeah. Around and shirt. then I got to go to school and look at that nigga, and I'm like, nah. But one time my daddy played me, I'm letting everybody know what he did. One day, I uh, I decided to give myself a haircut. I gave myself a haircut with the Clippers, and I met around the end and hit that number there and knocked the ball spot in that guy, right? Ooh. He came home, and he was like, who cut your hair? You did? I was like, yeah. I made a mistake. <laughs> I ain't but a little boy. I'm just like my daddy. Bam. He said, right, you, gonna work, you taking your school pictures like that. Now, I, I was going to be straight with that, taking my school picture. I was just going to do this number here or something to make him keep getting aggravated. He just take the pictures or something. So, bam. On top of that, my dad pick out my clothes in the morning. I get up in the morning, and I'm thinking, I done seen what we went to Jamaica Avenue and bought now. I know I got this Willie Esco. You know what I mean? That when Nas had his clothes just come out and everybody wanted to wear his, his clothes. Man, or, shit were hard as fuck. Yeah, so yeah, that's all my dad used to try to buy, so I used to get them. So I go upstairs and look on the banister where my clothes be at, right? This nigga got me a Christmas sweater with all type of colors and fucking uh, snowmans all over the jank, man. Some corduroy pants. I looked at that joint, I said, what the? <laughs> Bro, it, and then on top of that, because I had a brand new Iverson that just came out, right? This man took my shoe and gave me some all black combat boots, because, and got them. <laughs> I went to school that day, man, I got picked on all day, daddy. That was messed fuck up, bro. <laughs> like, he really... He, was, it, was it Christmas time? It, it wasn't even Christmas time, bro. That was oh, a crazy shit. fact, bro. It wasn't even Christmas time, oh, man. He man. just threw me on some tan corduroys at that and then... With a Christmas sweater. With a Christmas sweater, bro. And everybody picked on me that day saying I had on combat boots and soldier boots and all that, man. <laughs> he made me get into fights, man. He did that. 
But um, back to the artwork, we um, we customize a little bit of everything though. We do shoes, we do hats, we do everything. But when I started, I started stuff like this. I started doing my own patches on stuff, and I called it Black Art at first. And that's when we were doing the Black Lives Matter. And I felt like my people were going through stuff, so let me make stuff that they will like, but can afford. So you know what I mean? I started breaking stuff down like an old Louis Vuitton belt. I Broke the belt buckle off of it, put it on the back of the hat. We did that. So I, every time I wear it, I always clip something on the back of it. I walk around, they be like, yo, <laughs> where you get the hat from? But uh, yeah, I did this. Yeah, that right. hat dope as fuck, man. Yeah, man. And you get this hat right here, probably, I probably do it for like $25, something like that. You know what I mean? It, I don't be trying to bust people's head, man. It do take my time up. I do got kids, like I say. We got this at home schooling going on and everything like How that. How's that going? Man, they got like college courses going on right now, <laughs> man. So, you feel me? So that's. But they ain't the same shit we learned. No, boy. man. And that's why I tell them they they teaching them the wrong stuff. You feel? They teaching them some stuff they need to know, but most of it ain't. Ain't helping them in the real. It world. ain't helping. Them. Like we get our sons out here, they they need to know construction, yeah, yeah, lawn service, building. bit of building. They need to know the math and all that good stuff. But teach them stuff that's gonna help them out here for real, not uh push them to the army and. This uh send them send them over here to college for this amount of time, then they still ain't getting no jobs right. anyway. That that type of thing. Get let them take up trades. They need trades in school for real. Like you're driving things. them into debt early. Yeah, days. man. That was, you, once you go on college, you're gonna be in debt. You're gonna ain't, be in debt. Student loans and all that. Right. right there you go. So in nine times ten, you you damn they gotta be playing sports. Right. Just to be there. Like that sucks, that you, sucks bro. Like I wouldn't want my son to do that. I tell my son now. If you want to play sports, son, go play soccer. Go do that. Oh, man, that's international. You know what I mean? I tell them, do that for me if you want to play, son. Don't play nothing else. Play play, play that. I like for you to play football, basketball, but it's a, lot of, a lot of them predict us to do that. They, right. they want us to do that. So I try to tell them to do something different. Like when we go get money, we go cut grass. Yes. I had my own detail service, mm -hmm. uh, flawless detailing. Right. Um, I was detailing for like 10 years, man. I still am the best, trust me. Uh, but I take them to do stuff like that, cutting down trees. I let them know all the time, man, how we can build something out of nothing. We'll yeah. take wood from somebody that done tore down the house and we'll go build a dog kennel with it for free. We ain't spend nothing. I teach them stuff like that, you know what I mean? Well, we keep that money in our pocket. Right. So keep, it, keep it in the family. That's it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we'll keep on doing this right here and keep holding it and holding it. That's because I know what I be doing, man. I keep that money and hold it, man. I try to make sure that the next day I ain't got to say, my baby, I, daddy, I want half a meal, and I can't buy no $3 half a meal. Right. I, I can go smoke a blunt, but I can't buy, nah. That shit sucks. That sucks. I had homeboys used to go to McDonald's and say, bro, buy me a, Mc, a burger. Nigga, you just bought a blunt. How do you buy? You used to buy $20 sack. Then you had to buy the guards with it. How you do that, bro? <laughs> and then you hungry. If you smoke, you hungry. That's just common sense. I just telling my cousin that saying you can't lead a horse to you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. You right. you can't make nobody drink. Right, bro, you just had twenty two dollars. <laughs> you just had twenty two dollars. Come you on, man. Saying, you got <laughs> you, you just then, had twenty two dollars. You now you grams. need two dollars. Right. No, man. No, man. No, I got kids at home, so right, 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 right. I cut off friends like that. If you can't be the one to think to think for yourself, bro, you need to reevaluate re everything. You need to go back to mama house. Sit down and get it to go. Right. Now, on a, another tip with the clothing, I did this jacket right here for my team. And I wasn't even finished with it, but I brought it just to show y'all what's going on. We got we got my logo at the top, the Guap Express thing, and this reflection thing. I don't really like it, but I like it. It got double C's on it. It got OG right here in the corner. You probably really can't see it. And then we got the baby Guap sign right there. We got my brother label, Angel Boys ENT, which I'm up under there too. Uh, we got the other Guap Express print right there. Then we got Trap House of Company, my cousin. So I do a lot of things, man. So I do a lot of things. So the main thing I like to do anyway is shoes. I collect shoes. When Cud when Cud got shoes, he done bought brand new. The bottom you can lick them. Spike leaves glow in the dark. I mean, he, he give me shoes. I my old lady buy me shoes. What you want for Christmas? Seven pair of shoes. 
What you gonna hit? Seven pair of shoes. See, <laughs> I mean, I'm a shoe man. I just like shoes. I like things that help me change my habits. Right. You feel me? So, music, art, my kids, <laughs> my lady, my family, they change my habits. So, these right here, we did for my son, Tyrese. And these are the Ninja Turtle jank right here. They got uh, Master, uh, who is this? The rat. Uh, Master Splinter. Right, we got Splinter on the front. And then it say Cowabunga on the other side, TMT on the back. Bring it on, show it on a little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, we get on. They get on, get on. But what we call it. tough, man. Man, we call it. Uh, they the, tough. They call the spot where we doing it now is Custom Creation Station. My old lady, her sister, and my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law wife. So this is my daughter's shoe right here. Her name Tata. So, oh, dang hard. what kind of design is that? Right here, we got the dripping design. Then she just splatted some stuff on it because girls like colors. And I don't know what she would have wore, wore with them. So I just told them to go crazy with the colors. So I did the toe part. I was like, man, she a girl still. Let's make toe glitter. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the toe, like, did the toe. And then I did the pink part. And then I was like, go ahead, sis. She freaked the other side with the dripping. With the dripping. And yeah, she did that hard. right there. So, yeah, man, we be getting it to them. And then we do anything like for real. Like when I show you the next pair, these I just got done right here. These are personally for me. They not even finished. Well, this one is finished, but the one that I have to add to it, I bring it back next time. And right. when I see my boy and I show y'all this one, but this right here is the new shit. Well, that bitch is tough, man. This bitch is hard. Nice. Like That's this. the rug rats. It's the rug rats right here. We got, Chucky. we got Chucky, the black Chucky on the other side. Then we got Reptile over here killing the Nike sign He's right now. Nike sign, He's man. eating that, it. Those are dope, man. Yeah, man. And then they say oh, Finster on the right. tongue right here, man. But shout out to Star Walton. Uh, she do, she do portraits. She do. Uh, What's her name? Star Walton. I'm about to get an interview early. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring her with me next time. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Next time, I'm going to bring her with me. But on Facebook, her name is Star Walton. On uh, TikTok, she's Star Walton. On Instagram, it's me on Guap Express. Or it's me on Greater uh, Greater Heem Tie. And then on Facebook, it's Greater Heem Tie. My bad. Okay. That's G-R-E-A-T-H-E-E-M-Y. T-Y, and then you got Guap Express, G-W-O-O-P-E-X-P-R-E-S-S, -E -E -S -S. and I be messing with Trap House Company, Angel Boys NT, and we basically be trying to keep it positive. We do give backs to kids for Christmas. We do uh, we do Easter things, like now for our family, we do a uh, family fun day, and every Saturday we go to Waynesboro, they play tug of war, we play the big jumbo connect for they play music with all the kids. Like, we really involve our kids. So, that's our main goal right now is the future. So, like I tell my mother, my girl, it ain't for me right now. It's for the kids. So, you know, everything that we do right now is for our future. So, I feel like the kids is the future. We ain't going to be here too long. Right. You know what I mean? We, we getting older. So right. We got to get paid away for the youngest. So, that's what I'm trying to do right now, man. So, yeah. me doing artwork and me doing... Custom uh, furniture. I do custom furniture. I just did a custom couch in my bay window in my house. Uh, I wish I had some pictures for you. I got some, but it's in my phone. So uh, I did like a, a silver like couch on the uh, inside my window. Then I put like this mirror wall look in the background. Uh, cut pat me that red. Cut web. I know I seen some. Yeah, them lights be burning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, them, guy, them guys is hitting. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was in the Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. But, um, man, I just got a mind for, like, exploring, bro. Like, the music thing, man. I do music. I want to play that for y'all. I want to play it for them guys, man. Let them hear a little peek of it because I really ain't had the time to put it out. But messing with my new plug right here, man, I, I think I'm going to rock with them. Let them put that guy out there. Be the first one to get it. Everybody put it out there. And you know what I mean? Because it ain't out there. So I'm really, really, you know, I'm dropping y'all exclusive right now, man. That's how I felt. I felt like Ice Cube that day. I felt like today was a good day. Right, so, right, you know, right. I was making money. My kids were happy. So that was your mindset when you came up with that song? Yeah, man. When I came up with that song, I was just standing on my porch looking at it. 
I get weak about my kids sometimes or weak about my family. I just What you mean? I feel like my spirit feel loving, like very loving, like where well, I got to cry. Well, I got to let it out. Oh, you feel me? Because I feel like this person the best. Like I feel like they're great. I feel like you know what I mean. I don't, I wouldn't want them to leave me. You feel me? So, but that's just family love. Like what we got going on is family love. So I try to keep it on that note, man. And we try to hold it down for each other. Ain't no crossing each other. We ride on the police together. We ride on whoever together. As long as it ain't the man who we ain't riding on him. But and today was a what? Today was a good day. So. That's what we're gonna do, man. I wanna play y'all a little short clip, man, if y'all don't mind. And goddamn, uh, we can do that. It's the wrap up, baby. Thank go. you. All the kids got to play, and niggas wasn't out busting. It wasn't good. No police harassing, and people got along. It was blunt passing. It wasn't good. Today was a good day. Today was a good day. What 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 is what what the name of the label is? Today was a good day. Today, what, what, what is, what, what day. Today was a good day. Huh? No, no, uh-uh, not Angel Boy and Chief. I don't see my way yet. CTC and Nottis. I'm fucking with CTC, man. They bullshit. I'm dead serious, bro. I'm fucking with that, man. I'm bringing bro money. I'm gonna spend some money with him. I'm serious. Today I threw a and I ain't had the for gunshots so someone getting took out. Children being children, grown folk playing stage. Bring me some lemonade, trick K rotor, and pass it to me. And while I hit the blunt, young he me check the meat. DJ got the music, turned it to the match. Huh? I had my old lady, what she doing with them? The mic go get the cooler, nigga, fill him up with Cause we bout to have some Huh? Cause I know too much, that's a problem But having fun, my nigga, I'm probably fucking Cause I'm from a city where ain't no But I got to keep it real, my nigga do it for us All the kids got the and niggas wasn't out busting. Gun broad day it was a good that day. Good. Yeah, that's dope, that man. <laughs> yeah, dope, man. Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the most definitely put that on the movie, man. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. Most definitely, man. So, before we slide off, man, one more question, man. So, living in Waynesboro, how it is living in Waynesboro compared, you know, just, you know? I moved out of Waynesboro probably six years ago. No, about five years. Five years now. Waynesboro is a good time, but the people in it, like, they envy so much when everybody can help each other. Like, it's no hate on nobody. Whatever is in the past is in the past. So if it ain't bothering you, move on. Right. So that's how I look at things. If you did something to me, so be it. If I see you, I see you, it's fine. But I'm not going to say nothing to you, you know what I mean? We're going to keep it cordial because at the end of the day, you got a life, I got a life. I ain't taking nobody's life. I don't want nobody to take my life. So I don't play with people like that. So when it comes down to that, then I don't play. Because uh, I take my life serious. It might not be much to other people. I might not have the fancy cars and stuff that I want. But I got what I need. So yeah, real shit, real shit. Waynesboro is a great town. That's all I can say. I, I said it in my song. I love my town. So I love Waynesboro. But at the end of the day, we need to tighten it up. That's it. Right, 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 right. All right, so, man, before we get off a new event, man, how can they get in contact with you, and is there any love you want to shout out? I want to shout out uh, Angel Boys NT, Trigger K, Lil Mike, Vaughn the Dawn. I want to shout out my cousin Kyrie, uh, my mama, Simona, my old lady Jasmine for holding me down this long, my kids, God, uh, Man, everybody, man, for real. Like, I got love for everybody, man. All you got to do is talk to me. I'm always a peacemaker, but until you, when you force that hand, that hand force, that's just it. But on another note, you can catch me on Greater Heme Tie on Facebook. Uh, same thing on Instagram, Greater Heme Tie. If not, Wap Express. If not, hit Little Daddy Cheese up from Trap House of Comedy. He'll let me know. Hit Boog up from uh, Angel Boys NT. Um... Shout out my sisters, Dominique, Shamina, 
We gonna make it big, trust me. My sister don't do creating stuff too, man. Like our family, man, we do so much, man. So I know one day it's gonna be here and I'm gonna be up here talking to y'all again. Then I'll be goddamn really showing y'all what it is. And I have all the kids, I have everybody. Cause then my boy probably be in a big old mansion then cause then I'm messing oh, yeah. with him, you know what I mean? So y'all got to stay up with me, man. Just let, let you know, man, the real stuff was going on with me. But he on he, man, I'm checking up out of this guy. Go out this...